All right, hi guys, uh, Rob here, Scrappy2.com, and uh, in, in this video we had a question in the group saying that uh, they purchased the Samantha Upright font, uh, they would actually like to lose this and the shirt cuts a lot, um, and how can you do that, right? So um, you can do it all within shirt cuts a lot, no reason to copy to clipboard or anything like that. Um, so let, let's go ahead and show you what we mean when we're talking about um, you know, utilizing Samantha font in general because if you haven't seen Samantha font, it's really beautiful font. A lot of extra characters that are on there that aren't typically being able to be accessed just using your normal keyboard. So you have to use these shortcuts a lot, uh, essentially like a virtual keyboard that they give you. Okay. So uh, the, the first thing, whenever we're doing a font, you can either install it permanently or you can temporarily load it. Uh, the difference is. Uh, you know, if you're the type of person that just keeps on downloading fonts, installing fonts, it's going to bog down your system. So uh, a way to alleviate that is just, let's just temporarily load the font. Um, but if you are wanting to permanently install Samantha font, uh, the zip file that you get, uh, all you have to do is double click on the font and it should install it. Okay. I'm going to show you how we temporarily load the font into Shortcuts sure Lot 5, or this works with even 4. And the, again, when you shut down Shortcuts a lot, 5, that font will no longer be accessible again until you temporarily load it again. All right. So uh, let, let's go ahead uh, and, and get started. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and temporarily load the font into Shortcuts a lot, 5. So in order to get this window right here that says uh, My Library, uh, you can click on this little book up here, right? That's what toggles that on and off. Next thing is we need to temporarily load it. So uh, with the font tab selected, because uh, usually, you know, that's the standard right there. This one is selected. Select the font right there. And then we can go ahead and temporarily load it right here. All right. So click on that. Click on load font. And now it's just a matter of finding where you stored the font. You can navigate to your download folder. Maybe that's where you did it. Um, on a Mac, I'm just going to go ahead and search for Samantha Okay, and it, it should should populate here for me. So there it is, uh, Samantha Upright, and I can go ahead and select it and then hit open. It will now tell me that the font Samantha Upright Regular has been loaded. I'm going to click on OK. Now we have to uh, actually select it. So you can scroll down all the way down to uh, the S's. Uh, that's where the Samantha font would be, and you can see it right here, Samantha Upright. Go ahead and select it. Now here's our here's our little virtual keyboard, right? So uh, you can find the the letter that you're wanting, okay, and then you can go ahead and use it. Now obviously you can uh, type, uh, you know, normally, and uh, think things will pop up, right? But uh, in in my case here, let's go ahead and say we would like to have. Uh, we'll do this. We'll do R, and then we can do, and then we'll go over here. Um, and we're going to go ahead and start typing the rest of the stuff. So I wanted to, to go ahead and do uh, maybe Robert, right? Uh, the T, uh, maybe we can go find uh, another T down here. That's a little bit fancier. And uh, we might be able to use it. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look here. And this is what your little virtual keyboard is, is for. So... Looks like we're getting close. There's the R's, S's, and then there's our T's. And all we have to do is, you know, select it, and boom, there we go. We just made uh, a nice little fancy font, um, and it's obviously of my name, right? Now, um, obviously, when you're doing anything with Samantha font, uh, you're going to want to either weld it or union it. Um, that's under the wrench here. If you're going to do any kind of welding, just click on the weld. And that still allows you to edit the text as needed. All right. So hopefully that uh, little tip trick helped. Uh, if you are interested in Samantha Font, we'll post uh, a link down below uh, this video uh, just in case you guys are wanting that stuff. Right. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.